Stephanie and her family aren't the only people who discovered their water was polluted after drilling came to town. Daryl Smitsky, who lives across the street from Marcella Shale Gas Drilling, and whose water comes from a private well, and Bob Donnan, who gets his water from the Monongahela River, have also noticed a recent degradation of their water quality. It was my neighbor's choice to sign the lease. It wasn't our choice. We had nothing to do with it. The water started tasting a little funny probably in 2006, 2007, so we stopped drinking the, the water. This water came from my faucet. We would turn on the water and it would just run brown just like this for hours. When we had it tested from the, from the DEP, it was high level of manganese, iron, uh, toluene, it had uranium, and the DEP told us this was safe to drink. When we first started having the problems with the uh, high total dissolved solids in the Mon River, our drinking water got a bad flavor and smell to it, something where you really don't want to drink it. That was when I really started becoming concerned. When you have high TDS water that gets chlorinated, it creates uh, disinfection byproducts. One of those is called trihalomethanes. Uh, on, your, on your water quality statement it'll show is uh, THMs or TTHMs, uh, trihalomethanes. Um, and once those levels go over 80, then it's considered uh, out of compliance or a violation of the drinking water standards. They were as high as um, 173, somewhere in that area. We did another test for the VOCs, volatile organics, and it came back with uh, uh, acrylonitrile at 0.594, which is 11 times the permitted level in a Pennsylvania stream. I, I've actually quit drinking it other than uh, we run some through a Brita in the morning for coffee and that's about all I drink. And the state constitution guarantees us clean air and pure water. Uh, that's not happening right now. 